Surprise, surprise, everyone. Homes for sale, AKA the inventory on the US housing market actually increased in March, 2022, according to new data from realtor.com. This was a big surprise, a big shock, because a lot of people in the housing industry thought inventory was gonna go down, but no, it went up, and it went up by a lot in certain cities across the country, particularly in the areas in blue on this map, which saw 20 and even 30% increases in the amount of homes for sale in March, compared to February. We're gonna get back to this map later in the video so you can understand how your housing market's doing with inventory and homes for sale. And it's really so important that you understand this statistic, inventory, because it's gonna have a massive impact on two things if you're looking to buy a house or a real estate investment property. Number one, the inventory going up is the first thing that needs to happen before we see prices go down. Number two, higher inventory means that you're gonna have a lot more selection to choose from from when you're gonna buy a home. So increasing inventory levels in homes for sale is great news for you as a home buyer on those two fronts. And as I said before, it's happening in certain parts of America first. For instance, if we zoom into Northern California around the Bay Area, we can see a lot of blue, meaning that there's more homes on the market today than there were a month ago, according to this data from realtor.com. Specifically, San Francisco had a 21% increase in inventory. San Jose had a 22% increase in inventory. And then a market like Santa Rosa had a 30% increase in inventory. And the fact that we see so much blue around this area of Northern California is a sign that this is a part of the country that's gonna experience the housing crash first. Meanwhile, another area of America where we saw a big increase in inventory month over month was the mountain states of Colorado and Utah. You can see a lot of blue around Denver, a 22% increase in the amount of homes on the market month over month, as well as Boulder, a 19% increase. We then head more west towards Utah, it's a similar situation. Ogden, Salt Lake, and Provo were all up 15 to 20% on inventory month over month. But unfortunately, not all areas of America are seeing this increase in inventory heading into the spring, this housing market softening that's eventually gonna bring prices down. We're not seeing that everywhere in America. Specifically in Florida, we can still see lots of red, which means inventory actually went down month over month in a market like Jacksonville, we saw a 7% decline. If we go to Miami, we saw a 4% decline and some of these central Florida markets inventory still went down so uh, lots of parts of America are actually still getting tighter as far as the housing market the bubbles getting bigger uh, still in Florida in many markets although interestingly Naples is the lone exception which had an 18% increase in inventory now in one second I'm going to tell you when I think these inventory increases in certain markets are going to translate into uh, home price declines but it's going to take a little bit of time for that higher inventory to uh, equate to lower or home prices and price cuts. But first, before getting into that, I wanna to explain to you guys why we're seeing an increase in inventory across the US housing market more broadly, but in these specific cities uh, like Northern California and Utah and Denver, why are we seeing this big increase in inventory? And I believe it has to do with two main factors. The first is mortgage rates. With mortgage rates surging from 3% to 5% over the last three or four months, that is gonna inevitably lead to more homes on the market and lower prices prices, specifically in high-priced markets. High-priced markets where the homes are very expensive are the ones that are most expensive exposed to increases in interest in mortgage rates. That's because the home buyers in these areas like a Denver or a San Francisco or maybe a Boise, Idaho are already very stretched on their ability to afford uh, to buy a home and to qualify for a mortgage. So if you increase mortgage rates a lot in a short period of time, that's gonna have the biggest negative impact on housing markets that are already expensive. The second reason why we're seeing increased inventory, especially on the Western half of the U.S. is demographic and migration trends. The western half of the U.S. has actually lost people for the first time in 2021 due to pandemic migration. Lots of people left California, but lots of people also left places like Utah and Colorado. You can see that outline on this graph where we're taking a look at the aggregate domestic migration by year in different regions in America, the south, the west, the midwest, and the northeast. And you know, you can obviously 
see the South is always kind of the domestic migration leader, but the West Coast normally is pretty good, uh, attracts people, a lot of people move in, but wait a minute, in 2021, 145,000 people moved out of the West Coast, which again includes California, Idaho, Utah, Washington, Oregon. This is all on the West Coast, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. And this region actually lost the most people it ever has going back three decades, according to U.S. Census Bureau data. And interestingly, the West Coast actually lost more people than the Midwest in 2021. And so this double whammy of higher mortgage rates and outward migration is gonna be very problematic for the Western half of the U.S. in terms of real estate. And it's why I believe the housing crash has actually already started in these areas of America because actually not only over the last month, but over the last year, housing inventory is up in a lot of these areas. There's more homes for sale today than there were a year ago. And you can see that evidenced on this graph, which is tracking the markets with the biggest year over year increase in inventory, according to realtor.com, comparing March 2022 homes for sale to March 2021 homes for sale. And well, what do you see? Uh, Boise, Idaho is number one with a 63% increase in homes for sale year over year. Then we have Provo, Utah, Ogden, Utah, Riverside, California, Colorado Springs, Tucson, Fresno, Stockton, Bakersfield, Sacramento, Spokane, Austin, Phoenix. These are the markets where actually there's more homes on the market today in March 2022, April 2022, than there were a year ago. And what do you know? They're all pretty much on the western half of America. And just to really drive this point home so you all understand how we have an uneven increase in inventory in the U.S. housing market and how certain cities are going to crash before others, take a look at this map where we're looking at the metro areas that have had both a month over month increase in inventory and a year over year increase in inventory. Only about 10% of the housing markets in America have registered this month over month and year over year growth in homes for sale. And what do you know, the geographic concentration is very, very obvious. Lots of places in Idaho and Oregon and Washington and throughout California down into Arizona and Utah. This is where the housing crash starts, folks. Uh, and I think we're going to start to see price declines, like real price declines in these states and cities in the next three to six months. In the next three to six months, I believe we're really going to see a lot of price cuts in these markets in red. Now, interestingly, there's a couple other pockets here in America that deserve worth mentioning. We can see both Colleen, Texas and Austin, Texas are up year over year and month over month on inventory, as is this interesting pocket of metro areas in Tennessee, Georgia, and Alabama. There's a kind of pocket ranging all the way from Knoxville to Atlanta to Birmingham to Nashville, where we have a lot more homes for sale, a lot more inventory, as well as parts of the Midwest. You can see Detroit, Michigan, and Flint, Michigan are up. Certain parts of rural Ohio have more homes on the market, as well as rural Indiana. I don't think we're going to see a massive crash crash, so to speak, in these areas in the Midwest, but we could see uh, some softening in these markets over the next couple months, which would be good news for you as a home buyer if you're in Ohio, Michigan, or Indiana. Now, before signing off, I think it's very important for me to mention that inventory, while it's gone up over the last month in many parts of America, is still historically low across most parts of America. So, you know, if you look at the amount of homes on the market, according to Realtor.com in the U.S. right now of around 395,000, that's still about 65% below where it was a little over two years ago. So there's still a lot of work to be done in terms of inventory going up, which is eventually going to cause prices to go down. But this positive movement we saw in March is very encouraging. And it suggests that the higher mortgage rates we're seeing are going to have the intended effect that they need to have on the housing market of pushing home sales down, which of course pushes inventory up. So this is what you need to watch out for in coming months. And you're going to want to tune into my next video, which is going to be a live stream sharing this data from realtor.com with you all so you could see how your city and your market's doing. In case I didn't cover it in this video, make sure to show up for that live stream so you can request your city, your county, and your metro, and I'll show you how the inventory situation is trending. And of course, if you guys appreciated this video, make sure to smash that like button. That's the best way to support this channel. Also, make sure you're a subscriber so you don't miss this content going forward. And if you want even more data, access to more data, hit the join button below and become a channel member. The cost 
cost is $5 a month and you get access to exclusive data, most notably a monthly newsletter. The next issue is coming out this Friday. If you want access to that real estate monthly newsletter, which you can see here uh, on the screen in front of you, hit the join button below.